What up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian, and I know all Tar Heel fans are just as excited as I am. That's right. The North, Carolinas, North Carolina Tar Heels have punched their ticket to the 2022 Final Four in New Orleans. That's right. An Elite Eight matchup against Cinderella St. Peter's out of Jersey City. They came a long way. They beat Kentucky. They beat Murray State. They beat Purdue. But guess what? They weren't slaying, slaying the dragon tonight being us. We took care of business and we handled this game. Now, a couple stats, a couple things I want to talk about in this game before I go further. North Carolina was an underdog since, like I said, they came. They came a long way since that bad home loss to, to Pitt. They've, they've turned their season around. They got a big win against Duke at Coach K's last game at Cameron Indoor, and that turned around the season. Now, I know they lost in the ACC, ACC tournament to eventual ACC tournament champ Virginia Tech, but, hey, well, it's okay. They got it. They got an eighth seed. Hey, they got, a, they got a, a, a big win against Marquette, a big win against Baylor, even though they almost blew it, um, beat a UCLA team, um, and here we are, beat St. Peter's today. Man, they were dominant. They started the game off on a 9-0 run. This game was never in doubt. Carolina in that first half, after the first half, left 38-19. They held St. Peter 7 for 31 from the field. That is 22.6%, 1 for 11 from the, three, from the three ball, and they just dominated and suffocated them. They got the ball early enough for the Armando Baycott. He's been a callus for this year. By the way, he broke the school record for most AC for most double doubles in the season with 29, tied the ACC record, uh, along with the great Tim Duncan who played for Wake Forest. So shout out to Armando for that for that feat. Armando Brady Manick and Caleb Love, who's continuous as hot shooting. He switched to them Jordan Jordan 11 pat ons man, and he's been balling since the second half of that UCLA game. These guys combined for 53 of the 69 points for Carolina. RJ didn't play his best game, but that's okay. We've had three guys get at least get at least 25 in this tournament. That's RJ, that's Brady, that's Caleb. So we got guys who can score the basketball. Now Hubert doesn't have a deep bench, but it's okay. Um, so we got to keep guys out of foul trouble. But they did a good job today. I'd like to see Dontre Styles play a little more. Pub Johnson got a lot of action today. Um, so I think that's going to be crucial coming into this Final Four. But they held St. Peter's for 18. For 60, that is 30% from the field. And like I said, they suffocated them. They didn't let them get any shots up. They did their job. Shout out to Armando for having a hell of a game on the on the boards. He was battling his butt off, and I'm proud of the, proud of that guy, and I'm proud of this team. North Carolina Tar Heels, an improbable run to the Final Four. But I'm not going to get caught up, and I'm not going to get too excited because we expect national championships in, in Chapel Hill. Now, with that being said, we're on to the next step, and that is to New Orleans. Now, this marks the 21st appearance in the Final Four. I'm excited. Next Saturday night at 8, I believe, 8.49 or 8.59, one of the two, um, the, the, the late game, the prime time, prime time game. And that is against none other than Coach K and the Duke Blue Devils. This will be the first time these two teams get to match up in the Final Four. And I'm excited for it. I'm tired of hearing this Coach K farewell tour. We're going to go. I know we're going to be the underdogs. I already know. But we're going to go in there and we're going to win. I have complete faith in this team. They're playing. They're clicking and they're firing on all cylinders right now. Like I said, Brady, Caleb, Armando, RJ. Um, these guys can get, get the buckets. Leaky plays defense. This team is ready to go, and I believe they will have full confidence. Now, this game is going to be hyped up for the whole week, so I think this is what NCAA, the NCAA Tournament Committee wanted. Mark Emmer is excited. I'm excited. These Tar Heels are in. The Final Four in New Orleans. I, I can't believe it, man. Um, I didn't expect them to get to the Final Four this year. But, hey, I'm not complaining. Hubert Davis takes this team and gets them to the Final Four. The remarkable turnaround for this team as an eighth seed. Um, they felt they were underseeded. They played well all year long. Finished second in the ACC in the regular season. Um, so they can compete with Duke. I know Duke has guys like Paolo Boncaro. They got A.J. Griffin. They got Mark Williams inside. They got Trevor Kills. They got a good point guard, Jeremy Roach. But guess what? We're going to be ready to play, and I am excited, man. I'm going to be back later this week to do a, a breakdown of the whole Final Four, but I'm excited that Carolina gets there. Like I said, they get the matchup against Duke, another story program, and I'm ready for Hubert to take down Coach K and company. Let's do it. I'm calling for it, but like I said, I'm excited, Tar Heel fans. We took care of business. We didn't let St. Peter's hang in this game, and we are ready to get these wins in New Orleans and get another national championship for this story program, man. I am excited just as ever. 
you know. So, hey, let's get it. Go Tar Heels. Tar Heel Nation is great. It's a great day to be a Tar Heel. Everybody stand up. New Orleans, here we come. It's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.